Hi hey everyone, Mike Newfound Past with this week's haul video. We had a spectacular Sunday in our normal uh, loop and we only did three stores because that's all we have room for. <laughs> I'm going to jump in because there's a lot of stuff. So first off we got this wood block print and this is hand signed, hand numbered and we literally know nothing about this. There's no comps, there's no nothing. All we do know is on a reverse Google image search, it, it was used on a book cover. But we're pretty confident this is worth more than, uh, we got about 30% off, so you know $7 or so that we paid for this. I mean the mat, you know, it's not a, you know, the mat has some staining and stuff, but the print itself, it looks really good. So we think that's fine. Sorry about the uh, hit there, my dogs are down there. <laughs> You've all met my dogs, they're fine. Uh, next up, uh, don't know if I'm going to sell or keep this for myself because I'm a Dr. Pepper fan. This is just the Dr. Pepper Igloo Cooler from back in the day. Uh, blue and pink were half off, so this was only four bucks and change. So, not bad. Next up, we got a beach, an aluminum beach chair. And um, I've, we've bought these before. Uh, one just a few weeks ago, and we haven't listed it yet because it's really not the season. But we picked this up for, check this out. Woo, there it goes. Let's sit down. We picked this up for a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty, yeah. These aluminum beach chairs go for pretty good money when it's the right season. So if you can keep them folded up, <laughs> set that over there. Probably nail the tripod in a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we got my wife picked this up. This is a Kindness Custom Care Deluxe Conditioning Mist Hair Setter by Clairol. The mouthful. This was complete in the box. It's not new, it's vintage, but we only gave five dollars for this. And the completed sets like this sell okay, you know, in the 30s or so. But if it doesn't sell for a high price, which you know I'll probably try 40s if they sell in the 30s, um, the parts and pieces out of this sell really well. So yeah, just never can tell. Okay, next up we have a pair. Of these uh, Invicta uh, waterproof boxes one of them says limited edition on it the other one just orange stuff the seat these have spots for three watches um, comps were kind of all over depending on the colors uh, these are in really good condition about after our 30% discount on these um, you know five and change each for these and they, they each go from anywhere from 25 to 40 so I don't know if I'm going to lot these up or sell them separate. I don't know. I have to think about uh, those. <clears throat> Next up, galvanized pail. We do not know if this was a trash can or what it was. We got this for $5. And uh, this is made in France. Try not to be too loud here. It's not terribly old, but it's still pretty cool. Um, yeah. We just thought it was worth well more than five dollars so we'll see okay so that's all the stuff off the floor i got two of these brand new in the box brookstone foam tablet stands uh pick these up after uh blue and pink were half off at this store but so green we only got about 30 percent off so you know four and change or so and these sell for about 25 dollars a piece you know so it would have been on that edge if there was only one, but there was two. So I'm like, hey, double your money. Double your fun. All right, so we got the new in the box Eddie Bauer Tree Silhouette Stocking Holder for two bucks. It's all in there, opened up and everything. You know, wrong season, but these things sell in the right season. Maybe even all year. I don't know. I sell this stuff all the time for, you know, $30, $35 or so. So pretty good little find. This one was crazy. I was just walking down the like office supplies aisle and I was like, oh, that's new in box. I'll just, you know, scan it and had my phone out and I gave three bucks for it. And uh, this thing sells for about $35 or $40. You know, it's a Project MC Squared a ADISN Journal. Advanced Digital Intelligence Spy Notebook. Uh, they probably don't make them anymore. So, you know, the prices are creeping up. 2015, yeah, I don't know. Pretty cool though, comped it. 
a DVD book set, the, the Everyday Guide to Wine for $1.50, new, sealed, and they sell for about $25 or so. Next, uh, oh, we got the uh, sealed Titanic VHS. These don't sell for a whole lot, but we only gave like 30 cents for this. So, yeah. when they're sealed, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, Titanic, that kind of stuff, VHSs, I'll go ahead and pick them up. Okay. The box is a little bit janked on this, but it is all in there, brand new. This is a Ford Ranger pickup Rebel model. Uh, Lonnie does a lot of models, but uh, I, you know, I've sold them on and off throughout. We only gave 75 cents for this. And this thing sells for 25 or 30 dollars. So, yeah, that one was cool. Get some of this heavy stuff off the top here before it crashes. We got this big massager. This is a Red Fern Back Plus massager, and it has the attachments with it and everything. No box. I uh, got this for, let's see, 20 percent. Yeah, so three and change, low threes. Uh, and this thing will sell for 50 or $60. I'll probably shoot high on this because these things sell fast. All massagers do. Okay. Figure out where I'm going to go with all this stuff. <laughs> Bing. Got a... Is this bag for us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My wife picked up a bag of stuff. She may have gotten it for these brushes or something. I don't know. I'm going to hand that off. Uh, she also picked up these. I remember her saying she wanted specific things out of these. These maybe these uh, uh, coasters in here, and uh, paid four dollars for this whole set of stuff. So I'm sure these mid-century coasters in here will you know sell for whatever thirty, forty, fifty bucks or so. So yeah, just being picking stuff out of there. Hmm. Another mid-century thing that she picked up. This little tray with the four glass. Uh, trivet looking things. This is by Digsmed in Denmark, 1964. Uh, that's pretty cool. Three bucks. So, yeah, that'll be just fine. Three bucks. Okay. We got this the Ultimate Soldier Africa Corpse toy. Uh, three bucks. It is sealed in there. The box is a little bit janked, as usual, for the thrift store. But this will still be just fine. These were made in 2002 by 21st Century Toys. And these were anywhere from 30 bucks to $75, depending on the figure. So I just threw it in the cart and kept going. Next up, oh yeah, this one. Again, in the office supplies aisle. You know, I'd heard about these things. I knew about the... The spelling and thesaurus little things. This is a Franklin SA206S and gave $2.50 for that. This is made in 2004. These things sell for about 70 bucks new. And this is brand new. So it's pretty awesome. Next up, we got a Minolta camera in its case. This thing was made in Japan. And this is a Hymatic 9. Uh, lens was clear. It has the Rocor PF lens, and that's important as well on these things. Not huge money on this. Gave uh, $5 for it. But this will sell for in between $50 and $75. So, because it has its case, it has its lens, it's fairly clean. Who knows? We didn't even check in that little film thing. There may be a wad of money in there. I don't know. Okay, we got a lot of three Epson number 78 inks for a dollar a piece. And they're new, they're out of date, 2017, so it's pretty close. And uh, they sell for like 15 bucks a piece. So, pretty easy flip on those. Got a Staples One Touch DX3. This is brand new, uh, $3 and change. We had it, you know, 30% off. Uh, there's a lot of DX1s and 2s, but there was no 3s listed, but worst case scenario, this is about 25 bucks. Best case, it could be 40. I don't know. So, for 3 and change, went ahead and picked that up. Next up, we got a realistic wide-angle strobe light. And my wife plugged this in and tested it, and it worked just fine. And got this for $4 in the original box comps were all over but you know me I'm gonna shoot high 
you know, maybe it'll bring 50 bucks. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay. We got a set of two little candle holders, maybe. Uh, my wife picked these up as well. $2 a piece. Uh, signed on the bottom. And since she picked them up, I know they'll be okay. She probably looked up the artist. And those will be just fine. Probably the same with this one as well. This one's actually stamped on the bottom. Something, uh, some foreign language it looks like. <laughs> Dollar fifty or so? Dollar twenty-five? So, yeah. Pretty cool. A pair of tin cups. The fish on them. A dollar a piece. I don't know. <laughs> well, I picked these up as well, so I'm sure they'll be just fine. A brand new in the box, and I did open this, make sure it was brand new. Uh, AT&T speaker answering system phone for $7.50. Um, comps on these are only about 35, 40 bucks or so, but being brand new in the box, I went ahead and took the chance. There's none on Amazon, so this may go on Amazon. Um, we'll just see. Okay, a 1500 piece Raven's Burger puzzle sealed for $3. Let's have a beach scene. No uh, comps on this one. There was none of these listed at all. But I'll, I'm going to tell you a little bit why uh, my rules for puzzles. Cheap, sealed, and high number of pieces. 1500 pieces. So if it has low number of pieces, it's not new, and it's expensive like over three bucks don't do it <laughs> very of course there's always exceptions don't hit me with the exceptions i know but in general you know uh another cup my wife picked up i think we've had something similar to this before but this is only 50 cents made in japan pretty cool styling so yeah i have no doubt that's a 20 to 30 dollar mug okay get this heavy thing out of the way this is a vintage hand crank ice cream maker, $7.50. All the pieces are there, the paddles down there, all the pieces. We could part this out and make good money off of it, but it's all there, so we'll probably shoot for a high price and try to sell it. You know, a lot of comps on these, and this is a uh, White Mountain Freezer. So if you want to look them up, White Mountain Ice Cream Freezer, hand crank. I think it's heavy too. Ooh, heavy, heavy. I picked up this set of six crate and barrel party bowls for four bucks. Half off, brand new. No comps for these exactly, but I see stuff like this all the time. And it sells consistently between $30 and $40. So, you know me, I love brand new in the box stuff. Speaking of brand new in the box, a, a Star Trek USS Enterprise uh, model by Polar Lights for $2. I scanned the little UPC and the cops came back 50 to $75 on this thing. You know, typical Star Trek. You know. Star Trek can be hit and miss though, just to look it up. A brand new, I didn't comp this, so I want you guys to comp this. I didn't comp it at all. I'm relying hopefully on my experience here. I may look like a fool, I don't know. But this is brand new, it has never been used. I opened it, I looked at it, I checked it out. Everything is sealed. And this is a GE answering system. This is the 2-9860. Paid $4 for this. So, once you guys get a good look at that, comp that for me. Put it in the comments. I did not look it up. I bought it, and that's it. I made sure it was new. Threw it in the cart and kept going. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. We got a set... This is a uh, Alice in Wonderland. Is that right? <laughs> no, Wizard of Oz. Okay, I knew it was one of them. I was having a brain like spasm. Um, this is a Wizard of Oz set, and this is by Ruder. It's porcelain. This is new, but it's missing one cup. I only gave seven dollars and fifty cents for this. If this was complete, there's comps for 60 bucks on this, but 
seeing that it's missing a cup, we're probably going to part it out. And hopefully people will pay even more because they need a piece. It is brand new though. So. Okay. Next up we have this. This is another. My wife found this as well. Really heavy cigar ashtray. Romeo and Julieta. Um, paid. Oh, we got 30% off. So it's seven, six and change. Something really heavy duty. Uh, we always pick up these cigar ashtrays when they're in good shape. They always seem to do well. And this one, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 bucks, who knows? So. Okay, we got nine of these. Seven of them complete with the shoulder strap. Two did not have the shoulder strap, but they're all brand new. Put Joy, like, oh my gosh, yeah. Nine of these, and these are bags. These are duffel bags. They are embroidered, though. They're embroidered with the uh, Golf Clas Classic Special Olympics Delaware on the uh, bag. These retail for about $75 new. And let me show you the new tag here. If I can find it. There it is. Brand new. We paid, we got 30% off, so three high threes for these each. Because it has the embroidery, I think these will probably be about thirty-five or forty dollars. There was a comp of one sold for fifty, but that was without embroidery. So, I think thirty to thirty-five, or thirty-five to forty is good on the ones with the shoulder or the uh, shoulder strap, and the one without shoulder strap, twenty-five or thirty or so. And I may keep those for myself. I don't know, but it was a good buy. I got here's the how. I don't know if can they can you see all this over here? Let me show you. I got a whole stack of them. They're sitting right over here. And we got two duckbill platypus. When I saw these in the plush aisle, I'm like, those are something. And they were. There was actually a third one that was a big one, but the third one was a no-name brand, and it had its little arm completely ripped off, pretty much. But these are... The Manhattan Toy Company, both of them. So these are about fifty or sixty dollars a piece, and we got these for this one was we got these for two dollars a piece. I think they're awesome. Okay, so I think that's all the hard goods. We got just a few clothes. We were super picky. Um, the last thing we got still in the truck. It's pouring down rain outside and it is pretty big. It's like this big, and this big. It's a Fluidity Bar A Fitness Bar and it is brand new, wrapped up, no box. This was at the thrift store last week, full price, and we passed on it. It was $60. Um, main reason we passed on it is because I didn't have room in the truck. <laughs> because this thing sells for two to three hundred dollars or so you can look it up fluidity bar a b-a-r-r-e fitness bar may try to sell it locally because where we live there's a lot of affluent people with little kitties and stuff and this thing is used for like dancing and ballerina and stretching and all kinds of stuff uh, so two to three hundred bucks in that range somewhere is probably what it'll sell for uh we went for it this week because it was half off we got it for $30. It was still there. We were checking out and my wife looked over and she like, this is still here. I'm like, what color is it? Pink. Perfect. Let's get it. We have room in the truck. It's going home with us. So it's still in the truck. It's been raining cats and dogs all day. I uh, didn't want to bring it in here because we have really confined space as well. So now on to the clothes. Just a few things. Uh, we're really picky, of course. And uh, yeah, so stick with me. No comps on this. You're like, what is that, a bunny suit? Pretty close. This is a, I think they gave we, away these when like John Laguerre took over T-Mobile and they were like doing T-Mobile Tuesday and stuff. This is a brand new T-Mobile onesie. And it's a, we got this for $5 and it's an extra large. No comps on this, but I think this will do just fine. I think it's going to be one of those such weird things 
that uh, somebody will want this, you know. So tell me guys what you think about it. A T-Mobile onesie. I guess it's when they rolled out T-Mobile One is when they probably put that out there, but yeah. So we got a brand new with the tags. Ping pullover windbreaker. Last time I sold one of these, it sold super quick at like 40 bucks or so. Um, we got this one for, after our discount, just under 10 bucks. Still has the tag on it, $75. So I'll probably price this at 50 or so, because this will be first class shipping and uh, see how it goes. Next up, I have never found one of these, but I knew what it was instantly. This is a uh, Scotty vest. You guys have probably heard their ads on the radio. This is one of those vests that it's, they call it a travel vest because it has all kinds of compartments and stuff for cash and ID and wallets inside. And we got this for after our discount about five bucks or so. Let me unzip this just to show you because it's really neat. All those compartments and stuff inside. So and these sell quickly for about 50 bucks. So I'll probably price it a little bit higher than that and see where it goes. The color is just awful, but the vest itself is cool. I don't know what it was with vest today, but there were some good ones. We got this uh, brand new with the tags, Bulwark fleece vest. And this is a uh, flame resistant uh, vest. Sold this brand for you see the Bulwark FR, the flame resistant. And we got this for about $7. I didn't comp it because, you know, new with the tags, there's, I just knew it was going to be okay. My guess is, you know, 40 bucks or so. Another vest. Sheesh. Give it a rest. This is an original 80s Back to the Future Marty McFly puffy vest. Uh, we gave about seven and change for this one. We got 30% off or so. And uh, these sell very quickly, very easily for the $50 range. And this was in very good condition. So I'll probably put it at a premium and uh, see where it goes. Pretty cool. Ah, none of that stuff. <laughs> that stuff is still there from last week. Okay, brand new with the tags. Tyndale flame resistant jeans. These are not big money by any stretch but being brand new with the tags these sell for $35 $40 easy and uh, blue and pink were half off so we only gave $6.50 for those I will give brand new with the tags benefit of the doubt all day take a less margin okay next a brand new with the tags pair of Levi's regular fit 505s and these are 40 32 so a good size and these were the tags not blue but the color it was blue it's written down there okay so we get 10 bucks for these and that's about my high water mark for modern new Levi's is about 10 bucks sometimes 1250 depending if they're 501s in a good size but yeah because these will sell for about 40 bucks or so the cool ones are coming up I got some really cool Levi's coming up this brand new with the tags. Detecting a theme, I said we're picky, right? These are Arctic uh, snow pants, ski pants. We've got these for about $7 or so after 30% off. Brand new with the tags, and these sell for about $60 to $75 or so. So, cool, we down with that. What's that? Brand new with the tags. These are real tree. Uh, Rocky, oh no, I said real tree. These are actually Mossy Oak Obsession Rocky Outdoor Gear pants. These are really soft fabric. And imagine these are really comfortable. Um, we gave about 10 bucks for those after our discount. A little bit over 10 bucks. But brand new with the tags, these things sell for about 50, 60 bucks. I can see why hunters would want those. Those are really comfortable. They're like sweatpants. All right. I think I'm gonna set these to the side. These are really cool. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's see. Okay. Bam. Serious vintage Levi's 505's electric wash. 
if I had, if, you, if I'd have saw these, I'd have been like, oh, those are acid wash, but they call them electric wash. Got these for about 10 bucks. Uh, I love jeans like this. Vintage jeans, brand new tag. And the funny thing is, when I got them off the rack, this thing was not there. I found this on the floor back by the women's shoes. And I'm like, those go to that jeans I just pulled off the rack. And they do. That is exactly what those are. But wait, there's more. Bam. Second pair. These are 550s. Whitewashed. And I paid about $14 for these. Brand new. I, I just love finding these. And these are orange tab instead of red tab. I love finding these vintage Levi's. I think these are $75 a piece, maybe a hundred bucks a piece for these jeans. So, and these are less desirable, but these are brand new, uh, about 10 bucks for these as well. Um, these are just basic jeans. They're not like electric wash or acid wash or anything. So brand new with the tags though. Check this out. $40 price tag on those. Just regular old blue jeans. And they have a black tab on them, which is kind of weird. So, a little bit different. We like different, brand new with the tags. These were not brand new with the tags, but these are the same style as those. They're like that electric wash or whatever they're calling it. I'd call it acid wash, but uh, these are 501s, and we only gave $4 or so for those. And, you know, they're 36, 32, and those were so were those. So, yeah, that'll do okay. You know, probably. 40 bucks or so 50 maybe and that's it guys that is a big haul a lot of stuff thanks to all our new subscribers we're still climbing appreciate that our patrons you guys are awesome uh published this tonight for patrons recording it on monday and we'll go upstairs right now and edit my wife will and uh be public tomorrow so uh thanks guys and we will see you guys this friday for our what's old video later